Australia has just seen a groundbreaking advancement in battery technology that could revolutionize the industry. Scientists have crafted an innovative design for rechargeable batteries, moving beyond the well-known solid-state sodium batteries to pioneering solid-state zinc batteries. These new batteries boast longer lifespans, quicker charging times, and enhanced safety features, making them a significant improvement over the lithium-ion batteries currently powering our phones and laptops. So why is this development a big deal for the electric vehicle industry, and when can we expect to see these batteries in production-ready vehicles? Join us as we explore how this cutting-edge solid-state battery has sent shockwaves through the EV sector. The growth of renewable energy sources like solar and wind power is great for the environment, but their inconsistency poses a challenge. The sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow. To fully harness renewable energy, we need efficient ways to store excess power for use during low production periods. Until now, lithium-ion batteries, used in our gadgets, seemed like a strong candidate for grid-scale energy storage due to their high energy density and modular design, which offers flexible and scalable storage options. However, lithium-ion batteries come with their own set of problems. First, the materials needed to make them can be expensive, driving up the overall cost of grid-scale storage systems. Second, and more importantly, lithium-ion batteries pose safety risks. They contain flammable electrolytes that can overheat and cause fires or explosions, raising concerns for large-scale deployments near homes and businesses. Finally, recycling lithium-ion batteries is currently a challenge. They contain hazardous materials, and current methods are complex and not very cost-effective, which means a lot of used batteries end up in landfills, creating environmental problems. This is where zinc batteries enter the picture. This relatively new technology, emerging only in the past decade, holds a lot of promise for grid-scale energy storage. Rechargeable aqueous zinc iodine batteries have been gaining a lot of attention in the scientific community and industry due to their promising characteristics. These batteries are considered safe, cost-effective, and possess a high theoretical capacity, making them a potential candidate for varied energy storage applications. Zinc, one of the key components in these batteries, exhibits a high theoretical capacity of 820 million pure hours per gram, while iodine is abundantly available in the Earth's crust, further adding to the appeal of these batteries. Despite these advantages, the limited cycle life of zinc iodine batteries presents a significant challenge that needs to be addressed for their widespread commercial viability. One of the primary issues is the thermodynamic instability of the zinc electrode in an aqueous electrolyte, which results in the release of hydrogen during battery operation. This hydrogen release can lead to swelling and eventual failure of the battery, posing a major obstacle to achieving long-term stability and reliability. Also, in aqueous electrolytes, reversible redox reactions often take place at the iodine cathode, involving species such as triodide, iodide, and polyodide. These reactions can contribute to parasitic side reactions on the zinc surface, further exacerbating the challenges associated with cycle life and performance degradation. The formation of passivation layers such as zinc oxide and zinc hydroxide on the zinc anode may also interact with triodide, leading to adverse effects on the battery's overall functionality. Addressing these parasitic side reactions and mitigating the detrimental effects on the zinc surface is crucial for achieving long-term stability and enhancing the cycle life of rechargeable zinc iodine batteries. Researchers and engineers are actively exploring various strategies to overcome these challenges and improve the overall performance of these batteries. The researchers also reported on a new class of fluorinated block copolymers as solid electrolytes for all solid-state zinc iodine batteries. The study's findings suggest that the use of this solid electrolyte can address key challenges associated with traditional zinc iodine batteries, such as the formation of harmful zinc dendrites and the triodide shuttling problem, ultimately leading to extended battery lifespan and improved performance. Has your personal information ever been exposed in a data breach? It's unsettling, right? Data brokers sell our information to scammers every day. Your full name, email, home address, health records, and even relatives' details. That's why we use Aura, today's video sponsor. Aura identifies data brokers with our information and automatically submits opt-out requests, reducing spam and protecting us from hackers who could access our social media, bank accounts, or other sensitive info. Customer records were released on the dark web. They recommend using strong passwords, monitoring accounts, and considering credit freezes or fraud alerts. 
Aura handles all of this for us so we don't need multiple apps to stay secure. If our data is compromised we wouldn't worry because Aura is always on and protecting us. We value our privacy and yours. Visit Aura.com Altium Tech to start your 14-day trial of Aura, also linked in the description below. One of the key findings of the study is the formation of a stable, fluoride-rich, solid electrolyte interface layer on the zinc metal anode when circulating in the solid electrolyte. This SEI layer plays a crucial role in promoting the horizontal deposition of zinc and preventing the growth of harmful zinc dendrites. By doing so, it helps to maintain the integrity of the separator and prevents potential battery failure caused by dendrite-induced short circuits. Furthermore, the solid electrolyte effectively addresses the I3 shuttle problem, which is a common issue in ZNI2 batteries that can lead to capacity fading and reduced battery lifetime. The ability of the solid electrolyte to mitigate the I3 shuttle problem contributes to the extended stability and lifetime of the battery. The performance of the all-solid-state ZNI2 batteries using this new class of fluorinated block polymers as solid electrolytes is particularly impressive. Symmetrical cells assembled with this solid electrolyte demonstrate stable plating and stripping for an extended period, highlighting the long-term stability and reliability of the battery system. Additionally, the complete ZNI2 battery exhibits impressive rate performance and nearly 100% coulombic efficiency over thousands of cycles, indicating its suitability for practical applications. The study also demonstrates the excellent rate performance of the solid electrolyte even at ultra-high current densities. The reversible capacity of 79.8 milliamp hours per gram at 20C current density underscores the potential for high-power applications of the all-solid-state ZNI2 batteries using this solid electrolyte. The research on solid-state zinc iodine batteries with a PFP-based polymer electrolyte has shown promising results for practical applications. The focus of future research will be on exploring cost-effective application scenarios for this battery technology. One of the key findings of this research is the formation of a solid electrolyte interface layer on zinc, which promotes horizontal zinc growth, reduces dendrite penetration, and enhances battery cycle life. This is a significant advancement in addressing the challenges associated with zinc batteries and could potentially lead to more reliable energy storage solutions. Another important aspect of the solid-state zinc iodine battery is the role of the solid electrolyte in hindering the iodine ion shuttle effect, which in turn reduces zinc foil corrosion. This is a crucial development in improving the stability and longevity of the battery, making it a viable option for long-term energy storage. The research also demonstrates the excellent cycle performance of symmetric batteries employing this electrolyte, with stability maintained for approximately 5,000 hours at room temperature. Furthermore, solid-state zinc iodine batteries exhibit over 7,000 cycles with a capacity retention exceeding 72.2%, highlighting their potential for long-lasting and reliable energy storage. Overall, this work paves the way for achieving reliable energy storage in solid-state zinc iodine batteries and introduces innovative concepts for flexible and wearable zinc batteries. The implications of this research are far-reaching and could have significant impacts on the development of advanced battery technologies for various applications. So why exactly is this important? For one, safety is a major concern when it comes to adopting new battery technologies for our homes, factories, and power grids. People naturally want to feel confident that the batteries powering their lives won't explode or catch fire. This is where zinc batteries offer a significant advantage. Traditional lithium-ion batteries rely on electrolytes made with flammable and toxic solvents. These chemicals are a major reason why lithium-ion batteries can overheat and cause fires. Zinc iodine batteries completely eliminate this risk by using a solid-based electrolyte instead. That's right, water. This simple swap makes zinc batteries much safer for everyday use and reduces the potential for dangerous accidents. Another challenge with lithium-ion batteries is their disposal. Because they contain hazardous materials, throwing them away in the trash is a big no-no. Unfortunately, current recycling methods for lithium-ion batteries are expensive and not very efficient. This means a lot of used batteries end up in landfills, which isn't good for the environment. Thankfully, Zinc batteries are much simpler to deal with at the end of their lifespan. Since they use non-toxic water-based electrolytes, we can use existing and well-established disposal methods already in place for things like lead-acid batteries. There's another perk to zinc batteries. The anode, the part of the battery that stores energy, 
is made from plain zinc metal. This means the zinc can be easily extracted from used batteries and reused in new ones. This reduces waste and makes zinc batteries even more sustainable. In short, zinc batteries offer a safer, more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional lithium-ion batteries. With their non-flammable electrolytes, easier disposal methods and potential for material reuse, zinc batteries could be a game-changer for the future of energy storage. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments.